A lock and chains on the front gate, no trespassing signs on fences, still not enough to keep people from visiting this grain silo site. We have to remove graffiti there on a routine basis. We've had to secure their location repeatedly. People go and they break in and they want to explore. And exploring proved dangerous in February when a man fell 40 feet off the silos. Another call sent Omaha police there on Memorial Day when Omaha rap group Black Ribbon Entertainment picked the silos for a music video. Not for any trouble or anything like that. It was, uh, you know, the walls, the graffiti, the different type of the landscaping that they have in there, you know, just the concrete, how it's broken, you know, it's just good for good for photo stuff. Xavier tells us he was surprised when police showed up and ticketed him for trespassing. He says they didn't see the signs. No, no second guessing about it. We didn't really, you know, think that it was anything like that. We just figured, OK, well, you know, everybody else, they jog through here or whatever, so we can just go in here and shoot a quick video. But unfortunately, I think some people have interpreted that that property is abandoned uh, next to the trail and they think it's, you know, free for them to go in and out. Safarik insists it's not. The owner says he and a business partner originally bought the silos and property for rock climbing, and you can still see the grips here on the silos today. Safarik currently rents out the property to a construction company and hopes people will start respecting their space and his. I find it just incredibly disrespectful that people, you know, ignore the no trust sign passing signs. They go in there, they don't ask permission. We ain't trying to do nothing wrong, though. You know, I ain't trying to get no run-ins with the cops, making no big issue or anything.